paid $289 for this saw, 314 after taxes. So we're testing out another Chinese saw, another Blue Thunder today. So I'm here, I'm in Index, Washington with Mount Index Tree Service. And I'm, I've got a big cottonwood to cut down. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a huge cottonwood. But anyways, I got this. So I got this 200 knockoff. I'm going to try out. People liked watching that 460 knockoff. So now I got the, the climbing version. So we're going to test this out. So this company holds Forma. I still am not quite sure how it works. I think it's expired patents or they might purchase old patents. But basically, once Steel or Husqvarna, stop, they discontinue a popular saw. This company hops in and they start... They, it's basically an exact clone of the 200T. And if you don't know that the 200T was kind of like this legendary saw that's still made from 2002 to 2012. And they're still really popular. They're getting harder and harder to come by. But this thing is, you know, less than $300. So it's an exact clone. We're going to, you know, see how it cuts. I'm going to stick it into some big wood. I've got a 14 inch bar on it today. Gordy hooked me up again with this. I got some three point dogs on it. This came with no dogs at all i got gordy's three point dogs on it now and i got one of his muffler mods on here and i've got a 14 inch bar it's a square ground chain i'm going to be comparing it against this this is the limb reaper that john john's custom saws built me so this is like a really awesome 200t it's all ported and built and everything it's not really a, a fair comparison but we're going to do it anyways for the fun of it they both have 14 inch bars on them and yeah, we're just gonna take this thing for a spin. This might be a really good option if you're looking for, you know, just something cheap to get you by. It might be, um, actually, you know what, Gus, the owner of this company had one. Here, Michael, can we go look at Gus real quick? You you have one of these, don't you? I did, you I had, had the big one, the Would 466. You? So you didn't have the top handle? No, Oh, yeah. I had the Blue Thunder that you tested. Oh, oh yeah. I thought you had one of these. No. What'd you think of the, the 466? It ran good, Yeah. the motor was pretty tight, but uh, there was just little things like the the chain break. It was unadjustable and it was really tight. It was always like right up against your hand. Yeah. I don't know if it was like just that saw, huh. but just and it felt kind of. It yeah. worked for a while. I ran it for like a couple months, but yeah. Yeah, it seems like each <laughs> it seems like each part individually is sort of indistinguishable from the OEM parts. But when you put them all together, you start to notice it's not quite the same. Like I've noticed the trigger is actually a little floppier than. A little softer than the the normal 200 but anyways we're gonna get geared up uh gus is gonna be climbing that other cottonwood i'm gonna be climbing this one and here you're gonna trim me the phone michael this is this is michael he's all the way from ireland so you're out here visiting visiting yeah i uh, just came here to do the artifelling timber from your video i seen it so i got inspired and said i'd come out and do it yeah and here i am for the second time <laughs> small world and now he's small climbing world. like a I mean, it's gotta be all of, it's gotta be all of 150 140 that cottonwood i think biggest one i'll ever have climbed by for sure yeah so after me and gus take care of these two i'm going up this one gus is going up that one uh michael's gonna he's gonna kill that one and that'll be a little, a little bigger than they grow in ireland <laughs> way bigger man we have poplar that are like like that and they grow maybe 60 feet and that's about the that's about the full extent of what those trees can do that's awesome so yeah. he's on like a workcation out here yeah so cool, well, we're gonna get geared up and we're gonna get to work. Do, do you mind if I take a picture for Snapchat? Just a few times? Yeah, <laughs> of right. course. Yeah, I by all don't means. Anything and I don't wanna... <laughs> yeah, no, by all means. Like, I'm excited for you, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for me too. How yeah, I'm excited to... To the next biggest tree you've done. <laughs> oh, I'd say about half that. No, no I don't, I don't like a, an 80 foot one in Killarney National Park and that was the biggest I ever did. Maybe, really? Maybe 90 feet.
some serious moss on this thing. Dang, dude. Dude, this is literally like eight inches of moss. <laughs> it's so crazy. Alright, I'm gonna cut a couple stubs. The saw cut fine, but I had like an inch of wood on the backside, so it pinched my bar. I wasn't all the way through it. The saw actually did just fine, trucking right along. That thing sounds pretty nice. Dude, yeah, it was not bad. <laughs> kind of handy having a saw on each side. <laughs> I got another uh, branch. Let's see how she does. I'm just gonna try to peel it over. <laughs> yeah, this thing's not shabby. So, Gus, what are your thoughts on that alder right there? Like, if I break some limbs on it, oh, is I'm that? Pretty sure we're taking that later. Oh, really? Yeah, this, I think you can take lay that whole weed. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I would take that whole thing. Nice. I just send it then. Yeah. 
sweet. I can't believe how big that limb was, man. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, what about this limb? You think I should rig this or just wait for you to be done? And... Nice, yeah. Nice. After this video, nobody can say this Chinese saw doesn't have power. <laughs> I've got like 16 inch limbs with this thing. I've had two branches where I wasn't even through. Yeah, I'm gonna raffle it off again, yeah. I'd like to just raffle them off from now on so I can keep doing reviews, you know? Cause that's always been my thing. I've like wanted to do lots of saw reviews, but I don't need that many chainsaws, you know? So if I just raffle them off afterwards that I can keep doing them. Headache, little headache. But th th this one, th instead this time, I'm gonna have people just like buy something from my website for $20 for a chance to win. And so I can get, I can get around the legalities that way. Cause then I'm actually selling something. Cause it's, it's illegal. It's called uh, having a private lottery, I guess. If you just have somebody send you money. I, I really don't know why, but it's illegal. Cause it's like gambling. They, they, I think they just want to ruin your fun, honestly. <laughs> Uh, but if you actually exchange goods, then it's just a giveaway or whatever. Dude, this cottonwood's crazy. This is like huge. Yeah, I'm about 80% sure it'll fit. Really wouldn't want to hit those wires though. <laughs> yeah, I might just come back to this one. Let me think on it. Yeah, if I'm ever not sure about something, I'll just skip it and come back to it. Give myself a subconscious a minute to think about it. Cause I'm pretty sure it'll fit right there, but it might touch those wires, but that's the fastest way. Oh, nice. Dude, that was a... Uh, nice. I got a headache! Reaper's definitely better. I got a hanger. Look. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah, I should probably set a block for at least some of these back ones. Look. <laughs>
I am clear. I'm clear. Hey, I got this dead dead stick. It's like pretty small. I'm just gonna check it in the feet in the garden. <laughs> Go out the garden. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rig these like three limbs. So you know what I'll probably ask for I'll probably uh I think I'm gonna want my rigging line in my tr if you open up my trunk you'll see a yellow bag and, and mine's 300 feet in my trunk there's a yellow bag and uh there's also a block in there yeah i'll take the block too man this one would almost fit I just really don't want to hit the triple from my car i'll ask for the uh, uh the block and ring line um and then also there's also a bag of like zip lining stuff uh the, like monkey beaver bag can I get like three of those speed lines too? Just the slings, yeah, because I might redirect some stuff. This line's 300 feet long, so we should be good. Nice. I'm gonna cut a notch here. Don't do nothing yet. Just so the bark doesn't peel, I don't, I don't know. Okay. So I, I'm ready whenever you are. I'm ready when you are. This limb's like 50 feet long, man. Dude, nice! Dude, this saw is getting after it. I think it could be even a little better if I tweaked with the carb a little bit.
I'm up here, I'm pretty sure I can just top this. cut that from the base. So I'm just gonna cut like three footers so that we can move them off the road. Send my saws down for some fuel. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, I got a big stub. <laughs> this branch is like 18 inches. It's crazy. <laughs> day on one of my Wisconsin videos somebody commented the more arborist videos I watch the more I realize how good August Hunnicky is <laughs> he commented that on my video <laughs> I was like ow <laughs> like you really felt compelled to share that
What size bars do you guys run? You run like 20s on your 66 over there in Ireland? You guys run really short bars compared to what we run. They look like they got shrinkage. <laughs> This Chinese saw is like really surprised like <laughs> it's really not bad. I mean longevity, who knows, but but as far as like how it feels when you're using it, pretty good. I'll probably just send this big one then. Uh right there, and it will probably smash the alder, but it sound if it's coming out. I could probably top it right here, honestly. Kind of wondering if I should put a rope in it because it kind of leans towards that way. Maybe I should just be safe. I'll just I'll just take a rope, man. Can I get that rigging line of yours? How much rope of mine is on the ground, would you guess? Really? Okay, so I've got, dude, I've got all of 20 feet above my tie-in spot. And this line's 150. So we're about 165. That's crazy. Dude, that's insane. This thing is so tall. So this might be pushing 170, dude. Yeah, he was saying I got three feet of rope on the ground. And this rope is exactly 150. So, you know, then I got like 25 feet above my tie-in spot. So uh, it's somewhere between 165 and 170. Range. Oh. All right, we are tied on. This is a huge top. Dude, you pulling it was just the little bit we needed to get it on that side of the alder. Man, yeah, I'm glad I, that we put that rope on there. Should I get my 66 and that rigging line for this next log? And can you clip those to the uh, my block? And actually, you know what? Can you pull it up to me first so I can lower down one of, <laughs> one of these saws? Here, Lim Reaper. China saw's got it from here. to have that 20 inch panther bar. Like I could have made that cut with it. All right, lowering this down. Yeah, Gordy built me that saw years ago before he was like real big and famous. I'm gonna use the my ring line to pull this top over.
this tree's crazy tall. Oh yeah, dude, this is, dude, this is like all of 25, 30 feet above me. Where my line is. It's, it's gotta be at least 170. But it's gotta be about 170. It's gotta be about 170. Man, this is uh, this is like really pushing this. This top is huge. Um, you ready? I'm not ready. I'm, I gotta do a notch. <laughs> I'm in the tree I get asked a lot how come I do humbolts and conventional sometimes when I'm in the tree I just do whatever is comfortable for my positioning so I'm really like 50 50 in the tree just because right here this is a lot of wood to try to push through and this would be awkward so this is just most comfortable so I, I go both ways when I'm in the tree <laughs> I think body positioning, like being comfortable in the tree is probably the most important thing when it comes to working safely. I actually think it matters most more than any of the like gear you use or I don't know, just being comfortable. Are you ready? Just steady pressure on this, you know, it's pretty upright. You don't need to pull very hard. Just, all right. Yeah, just, just steady pressure. It might take me a minute to cut through the back cut. I think I'm gonna be short. China number one. Man. Dude, this saw is pretty good. I gotta be honest. Dude, I'm blasting through wood with this thing. And I, I tweaked at the carb a little when I was up here and now it's like, yeah, I, I tweaked the carb about halfway through the removal cause it was kind of like really doggish. So I think I turned up the air and it's actually a, uh... dude, it's blasting through wood. I'm like, I'm like really impressed with the saw. I'm sure they're not the best for longevity. Otherwise everybody would use them, but dude, for 300 bucks. Yeah, that's true. Probably not that many people know about them. Oh really? You never seen those? I've looked at those for years, really curious about it, but never wanted to like, I was like, that might be a real waste of money, you know? Well, the, they, they sell orange ones too. If you buy the parts, they're orange. If you buy the fully assembled saw, they're blue. Yeah, so you can actually buy the kits and they come orange and you assemble it yourself and they're even cheaper. But I don't know where you buy those. Yeah, I'm like 125 feet here. <laughs> so. Oh man, I gotta pull this up a long ways. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, yep, got it. Ugh.
Dude, yeah, I had like not that much wood left. Wow. I'm actually gonna want my husky for this one. Ugh. 42 inch bar. Here we go. Do you have Lucky Charms in Ireland? They're probably like a delicacy for you guys, huh? Like a, like a Michael Go. Look, look, at, look at these trees. Like if somebody told me this was a 170 foot cottonwood, I'd be tempted to think they were lions. That's so tall for these trees. But but they they really are. They're really that tall. We're like up here in the mountains. In a really small town called Index. Yeah, Irishman Go, man. Crazy. Came halfway across the world. Yeah, get her, Mike. Oh, <laughs> 
Nice job, buddy. <laughs> nice, dude. How do you feel? <laughs> Just like the weight of the world is off my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, you're way up there, dude. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel? Oh my god. <laughs> that was, I feel great. First but American. I feel really beat, you know? Yeah. No, you did great. Thank you. You, you did a shout out earlier, but you, you probably couldn't really hear it. You were far away. Yeah. Who were you shouting out? Earl Kavanagh, Patrick Lawler, and Tom Lawler. Yeah, what's the They're, company? Uh, green and Growing. Growing. Check us out if anyone's ever in Kerry. What's your Instagram handle? Uh, Michael Mullen 00. Okay. Cool. Thank you. There. Nice job, dude. That was a huge tree. Yeah, it was the biggest I've ever done by far anyway, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> yeah. Pretty that's is, that the uh, big, is that the biggest bar you ever had in a tree? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What is it? 32 inch? 36. 36. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I couldn't even get my flip liner on there anymore. That's how, <laughs> that's how thick that tube yeah. was. Yeah, so, that, was a, that was a fat one, dude. Yeah, nice it, took me, it took me a little longer than I wanted, but. That'll all come with time, I guess. Wow, that's really smooth. Really cool. <laughs> it's not bad, huh? It's very good, man. <laughs> Really not bad. Pharma. I'm gonna have to buy one. Where'd you get it? Amazon? I got it on Amazon. It was 2.89 before tax. I think it was like three. Ah, uh, you've imported with the West Coast. Yeah, I've got the muffler mod and, and then the, the, the dogs, dogs, and that's that's it's really it. cool. You said they use like outdated parts or something. Yeah, so they discontinued this saw uh, ten years ago in 2012. Okay. And so they now uh, Holtz Forma makes this, which is an exact clone of the 200T. Okay. Yeah, so my final thoughts on this thing, I actually was pretty impressed with this. I really don't have anything bad to say. It was a little finicky in the tree. I did adjust the carb once. Um, you know, this might be a really good option if you're somebody that's comfortable, you know, messing with the carburetor to get it dialed in, then this, you know, I, I feel like maybe the newer tour ones. So when the 201 first came out, the first few ones, I, I feel like they were pretty bad when the Mtronic stuff came out. They were real dogish and stuff. I feel like this is a better saw than that. The new 201s, I don't know, they're pretty good. But this saw really is not that bad. You know, ethically, I guess it's kind of up for question. Some people don't want to support the, the you know, the, the, the Chinese <laughs> company taking this. I don't know how they get the rights to do this. I don't know what the deal is, if it's legal or how that the patent stuff works but all that aside you know i'm just trying to see if it's a good saw and to be honest with you this thing was blasting through wood that was one of the biggest cottonwoods i've ever done that was a huge tree the only question really would be the longevity of it how long is it gonna last i'm not gonna keep the saw for years and try it out i'm gonna i'm actually gonna give the saw away so all you have to do if you want to win this saw all you have to do is go to guiltyoftreason.com and spend twenty dollars in my store i raffled the other one off and found out that that was uh illegal so this is the way <laughs> that i'm gonna do this one now go to my store just spend twenty dollars or more and i'm gonna pick a random order and i'm gonna send this saw i'm gonna send the bar and the chain the chain has been square ground on my symington you've got the west coast saw three point dogs and the muffler mod on here it's actually it's it's a real i mean it's a really good deal for 20 bucks so it's a good deal and i honestly really i'm i'm actually straining to try to think of something negative to say just for the sake of being you know objective about the saw but to be honest this sort of exceeded my expectations i i'm pretty i'm very pleasantly surprised with this saw who knows how long it lasts but you know you'll have to let me know when i send this saw to you so go to guiltyoftreason.com buy anything twenty dollars or more and you have a chance to win this saw uh, I want to thank the guys out here for having me to be a part of this fun job that I did today. So, you know, thanks everybody. Yeah. Here, I'll point the camera at you guys now. Yeah, uh -huh. so thanks everybody. <laughs> I had a lot of fun.
and yeah and hopefully you like that too there's gut and then there's that's gus's company you can check him out so all right thanks, thanks guys Jake. yeah Thank it was you. nice to nice to meet you man nice to meet you too man so all right i'm out <laughs> in, yeah, inside YouTube. <laughs> I was like, that's my phone. <laughs>